North Korea will reopen to international tourism this winter, tour operators say. Kim Il sung Square in Pyongyang, North Korea in April 2020, shortly after the country closed its borders due to the COVID-19 pandemic. CNN, North Korea is to reopen limited international tourism by the end of the 2024, nearly five years after it completely shielded the country's borders due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Two tour companies with connections to the isolated country have announced. Beijing-based Kyoro Goryeo Tours and Sunyang-based KTG Tours both made separate online announcement Wednesday, saying their tour groups would be allowed to visit the mountain, mountainous city of Sa, Samjiyeon, the for, purport purported the birthplace of the late North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. We have received the confirmation from our local partner that tourism to Samjiyeon and likely the rest of the country will officially resume in December 2024, Korea Tours said, adding that in itinerary and further details will be finalized in the coming days and weeks. In a separated Facebook post, the KTG Tours also said the exact date for the tours were to be confirmed. So far, just some Jiyeon have been mentioned, but we think that PY, Pyongyang and other places will open too. Sam Jiyeon straddled, straddles the Chinese border and is close to the highest peak on the Korean Peninsula, Mount Impact 2, <clears throat> an active volcano of paramount importance and historic significance to both North and South Koreans as it is considered the cradle of the Korean people. Pack to bloodline. Though South Koreans are re restricted from visiting the North, South Korea's former President Moon Jae-in and then First Lady Kim Jong-suk visited the top of the mountain with Kim Jong-un and his wife Lee Seo-ju in 98, uh, 2018, underlining the symbolism of the mountain. Visiting the summit of a mountain back to is akin to me making a religious uh, pilgrimage for North Koreans. The fable, fable that the Pak Du bloodline is what gives the ruling Kim family legitimacy, re legitimacy, say observers who not Western historians conflicting claims the second generation leader was born in Russia. Samjiyeon was once a popular destination for Chinese tourists who used to arrive <clears throat> by busload prior to COVID-19. Tourism provided North Korea with revenue despite international sanctions over Pyongyang's illegal nuclear and ballistic missile programs. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un personally inspected the construction site within Samjiyeon earlier in July, state media reported. North Korean state media have so far not reported changes concerning the country reopening in a limited capacity to foreign visitors, but North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has previously indicated that he would prioritize visitors from friendly nations, which include Russia and China. The Chinese tourist paused for photos on Kim Il-sung Square in 2019. The road to reopening. The pandemic left North Korea's borders hermetically shielded from nearly all of the outside world for several years, restrictions that largely continue except for small tour groups from Russia, who were allowed to enter this year amid the Kim's defending partnership with Russian strongman Vladimir Putin.
About 100 Russian tourists were welcomed in North Korea earlier this year, traveling by a North Korean-owned air Korea plane from Vladivostok. But pandemic border restrictions forced the most diplomatic missions and international non-profit to pull out of North Korea, leaving the Impoverished, na impoverished nation of around 25 million, arguably the most isolated it has been since the Cold War. United States passports are not buried for travel to in or through North Korea, unless they are specially buried buried by the U.S. Department of State. The department classifies North Korea as level four. Do not travel. The announcement to reopen tourism come about a month uh, after Kim visited a new beachside tourism site, the Wonsan Karma John, the currently under development on the country's eastern coast. Kim said the re resort will would open in May 2025 after years of construction delays due to the COVID pandemic and the United Nations sanctions, state news agency KCNA reported.